Hey everybody, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be setting up the bills that I'll be due in November for 2022. We're almost to the end of the year, um, so that's kind of exciting, getting to the holiday time. So I'm going to be using my bill due stickers that you can see here. We're almost out because we're at the end of the year. I'll have to get some new ones in January, but we should have enough to finish off November and December. And then I'm also going to be using payday stickers and everything, both of these that I'm using can be found down in the description box below at my Etsy shop. And this is an Erin Condren 7x9 planner. I'll be using this again for next year. Um, it's a different planner, but the same type. It's a, the 7x9 monthly Erin Condren. I'll leave that also in the link below in case anybody wants to use this planner. I really like using the Erin Condren monthly planner for my budget. I've been doing that for the past couple years. So we're going to just continue on with that next year since it's working for me. I already set up my November budget. I still need to write in everything. I do a, I, I kind of set this up, but I do like a rough draft of my budget on another piece of paper. And then I will put it, fill everything in for the expected for the month and everything. And then I also always set up my transaction log. So that's set up right here too. All right. So we are going back to the monthly spread to start doing the bills that are due and my paydays like i said i record i like put a payday sticker on all my husband's paydays and my paydays my payday is always the first uh monday so that's the seventh actually it's really late in november it's the first monday of the month but then i actually get it on the tuesday so i always put it on the tuesday afterwards because that's when it actually comes to my bank account so i put that there and then my husband's i believe it's the 11th and the 25th but I also have that up here and we have November 11 and 25 yeah so these are all the little um just little dots transparent clear dots so I can see the dates but they still cover it so it's clearly clearly marked what days we get paid so those are my husband's two paydays all right, so that's all of our paydays for the month. And now what I'm gonna do is put all our bills through. So I think we're kind of going, I just kind of mark them as we go through the pile. So I'm just gonna be glancing back at October's and to kind of put them where um, they're supposed to be in the month. I, I know uh, pretty much where they're supposed to be when we're, when we're paying them, but I like to look back at the previous month or I have a, um, well actually I'll show you the new one. I made these new stickers for the monthly bills and other bills so this is what they look like on my etsy shop but the old ones are right here uh the monthly bills so this kind of shows me what day they're due it's like a little cheat sheet for me to look back if i want to see the approximate day they're due and then um, if it's a fixed amount i put it over here but we're gonna we can also just look at the previous month too so Jim and Electric are, are on the 17th. They're always on the 17th. Sometimes on the previous month, if it's on a weekend that you get it, obviously we have to um, adjust it. But I remember the 17th is always when the gym comes and then the Electric's been coming that day too. So we put them together on the 17th. And I'm using these, uh, the colorful version of my stickers. I also have a neutral version if you'd prefer not having any colored background they're more they have like a it's an all caps text and it's just more of a neutral design that'll fit if you prefer no color i just like putting random colors all over so that's kind of how i do it but i know some people like the look of more um just more simple and then also you could also just do like all blues or all tans whatever you'd like to do with them but there's some options all right i'm only left with one of the American Express too. This is my husband's credit card. So that comes on the 22nd every day or every month, not every day. So we'll have to get another one of those for next month. But um, this is a custom sticker. So you can put your own custom, like I have Amex too for my American Express. It's the second one since I said it's my husband's. Um, so I, I have an option where you can put whatever text you want up here on the credit cards. Here, I'll kind of put it up close so you can see so you have this uh, and the text can be whatever you want and then I also have a custom just regular kind of bill I'll show you I think I have a couple of those where it's just a different icon and then you can put any bill that you want to for custom text 
All right, voice credit card, TJ Maxx. We have a lot of credit cards right now. We don't use all of them, but we just have a lot open. All right, I was just looking for my mortgage. This is an easy one to do. The mortgage always comes out on the second. So let's do the blue. And then our Discover card always comes on the 10th. We'll do green for that one. And I believe our other credit card that I open, I have another credit card that I just use my um, for Etsy, for like any purchases for Etsy. I believe that comes on the 10th also, yeah. So let's see, why don't we use orange? right here all right internet comes at the very end of the month like the 26th maybe 29th so we'll use a red don't think I've been using those recently and then we have a couple other credit cards like I said um, I'm going to put the Tithe sticker, just kind of going through these, we'll use the purple. We usually Tithe once or twice a month, but usually it's after we get my husband's first uh, payday, so I'm just going to put it right here. We'll probably, probably do it on a Saturday. We just do that online, just as a reminder. And then water comes like in the middle of the month, I think. Yeah, around the 15th, and then TJ Maxx is the 13th. So the 15th, TJ Maxx will actually probably be the 14th this time because 13th is a Sunday. But let's just put the water on the 15th. I'm not even paying attention to if I'm staying in the screen. Hopefully I am. And then, what did I say? TJ Maxx, where are you? Only have a few more left. I think I will use, let's do this light purple on the 14th. That one I don't use very often either, but we have that. So I always like putting it here just as a reminder. All right, and then we have these, all of these come towards the beginning of the month. So our gas comes around the second or the third. Usually some of these bills vary. Um, but usually it's at the very beginning of the month, so we're going to put this on the second. And then I think and the American Express comes pretty early too, so I'll put that on the third. Do you get this one? And we got three more. So voice is always the fifth. And that's a Saturday, so we can still pay for it then. So I will put that there. And that's our last credit card. And we always make sure we pay off the credit cards for the month. We don't leave anything with balances because you don't want to have any credit card debt. So, all right, then we have Reliant and Compassion. One of these comes on around the 5th or the 6th. Reliant is on the 6th. Compassion's around the 3rd. I remember I put it on the other one last time, but we're going to put it on the 3rd. It usually comes. And then Reliant is the 5th. So we can do this one. All right. And we have all of our bills down. So. That is all I'm going to do for that, except I'm going to write in, I just grab a marker, and this is the color I decided on for November because I figured um, it kind of matches. I know it's a little bright, but it kind of matches with my design there, and I use the red for the lines, so I'll write all the text in this orange. So we're just going to go through and mark everything that I know what the amount is, so everything that's fixed, like our mortgage, um, our internet 
is, but it's a weird number, so it's like 6582. And then, do we have anything else? Yeah, we have a couple things on here. So Reliant, this is another um, icon that you can put whatever, it's like a charity icon. Um, you can put the little gift um, and you can put whatever you want on the text for that. Right, that for compassion. And then Jim is always the same too. It's like $10 something, but like I said, it's a weird number, so 1068. And I believe that's everything. So hopefully you can see everything. I know it's a little dark. I'm thinking about getting one of those ring lights, so that might that might help. I don't know. I think that's supposed to help. So I'll try to get one of those so I don't have to like brighten it on the computer because it seems to kind of lower the quality when I do that. But I don't like turning on lights because I get weird shadows. So hopefully you can see all this pretty well. But um, I didn't really have that much to tell you this time. I just set up everything. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. There's not much that has been going on. I've been working a lot on January stickers because I'm changing um, a few things. All the budget stickers are pretty much staying the same. I am going to be adding one line for the budget, the variable and fixed. I'm going to be adding like a totals line so that you can add your fixed, like the actual fixed and variable amounts down at the bottom. Uh, I think I have one line for expected and one line for the like the actual amount so you can combine them both. Um, and so you can kind of see, because I always add them together, but I'm like, I should probably have something that just has it together so I don't have to look at it every time and add it together. Every time I want to see how much we spent, then it'll just be there and I can just look at the number. If that makes sense, hopefully that makes sense. It's just these two numbers, uh, like this and this added together or this and this to be to add together at the beginning of the month. So hopefully that made sense. But most of my budget stickers are staying the same. Other than that, um, I'm just changing up kind of the weekly. I mean, I'm adding some weekly kits. I'm gonna be changing the daily duo slightly. And then the monthlies, I'm still working on. Those are what I'm kind of, I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do for that. I don't have my monthly stickers on here right now, um, but they match whatever the budget stickers are. So I do have these. I, I usually put my monthly stickers in my other planner. Um, I don't usually put it in this one. I think that's about everything. Like I said, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I appreciate everyone who supported my Etsy shop. Um, I really have a lot of fun doing this and I'm really happy that I can do this. Thank you again. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.